Hi, this is Robot here, Vespa Motorsport, uh, aka ScooterWest.com. Uh, a lot of people don't really understand the immobilizer system that's found on these scooters. You buy, buy a brand new Vespa and it comes with two keys. You get this kind of brownish red key and you also get one blue key. Uh, you should always be using the blue key. They call this a programming or master key and this key is needed anytime you want to add any new keys to the system. I've already cut this blank key, so it's got the exact same cut as the two included keys with the scooter. Unfortunately, this one's not programmed, so if I go ahead and try it in the scooter, it's been cut and it will turn the ignition on. It will not start the scooter. Push the start button, you see the runs on. You'll see this light flashes three times. I'll show you again, and it will stay on, indicating this key is not programmed. I'll show you again here. So it comes on once. You wait three seconds and it will blink three times indicating this key is not programmed into the system here and stays on. And again, you cannot start the scooter. On the older carbureted models, you'll be able to start the scooter, but it will not rev above idle. It will just idle, you know, sometimes stall out and, and do the exact same flash code indicating that's not programmed into the system. Both these keys that are included with the scooter will start the scooter with no problem. And all you see is the light blinks once, indicating the system's functioning correctly. The red key also will start the scooter. You go ahead and turn that on. You'll see the, the light will do a different sequence of flash. Comes on once, and we'll do two little quick flashes indicating that's the service key. And this key will also start the, start the scooter here. Again, you don't want to use this key for regular riding. The best thing to do with this scooter is Keep it at home in your file cabinet, your safe. Somewhere, if you ever sell the scooter, you want to include this key with the scooter. If you want to have extra keys, you definitely want to duplicate another blue key and program it into the system. One other service we offer is with an aftermarket key, it's completely programmable to the same code that's with your original blue key. So you can send us the blue key. I can cut the key and also clone the, the electronic code that's built into the chip in this. So essentially the immobilizer system in your scooter will see it as the exact same key, even though it's an extra key and they call that cloning the code in the chip, in the immobilizer chip to a new key. This is a factory key blank, so they must be programmed into the system in the way I'm gonna show you right now. So again, this key does not function right now, will not start the scooter. First of all, you're going to have all the keys separated. You don't want to have them on the same ring. If the keys are close together on the same ring, sometimes it will, uh, the immobilizer will not detect the key correctly. I've seen them not start the scooter, and it will give you the, the three flash code indicating it didn't detect the correct key. So start with the red key. You need to do this pretty quick and you need to be watching this immobilizer light. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through the sequence here. Start with your red key. We have the immobilizer light. Insert the key, turn it on, wait until that light comes off. Go with your next blue key, turn on, wait till it comes off. Your brand new key that's just newly cut, turn on, wait till it goes off. And any additional blue keys you would do, you can do up to seven keys. There's different, different numbers on different systems. And I'll end the process with the red key and turn off. And now this key should start the scooter, no problem. This is our newly cut key. And now the two blue keys are programmed. Say you lose a key and don't want this, this key in the system, you can actually program it out of the system. Do the same sequence. I'm only going to program the one blue key and back to the red key, the end of sequence. And this key should not start the scooter now. And it's not starting the scooter. It kind of attempted to. It's giving you the three codes. It's no longer in the system. But I'll go ahead and program this one back in. I'm watching that light. Right when the light turns off, go ahead and pull the key out. You got to do this pretty quick, and last with the red key again. So now I have both blue keys programmed into the system after that sequence. And that pretty much sums up how you program the immobilizer that's found on 
many Piaggio scooters, all Vespas except for the Vespa S and 50cc scooters. Um, the system came out in 1996 uh, during the 50th anniversary when the ET4 was introduced. Uh, that's when they first started with this immobilizer system. Um, some of the newer scooters, such as the 946 or the BV350, they use the same system, same programming, but they have a sidewinder cut key on it versus a standard double-sided key that's found on these uh, older Vespas. And that's pretty much how you do it. And again, if you have a problem with the mobilizer and it's not detecting any keys and gives you two blinks, it may have a problem with the antenna. So two blinks on the system when you turn the key on indicates you may have a fault with the antenna or the receiver or some other electronic system in the scooter.